Howdy guys, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Horror. Last time, uh, we completed Chapter 5 and we did some stuff in Rogueport. But now for this time, uh, Merlin recently told us that there is a secret back in Chapter 1 inside Hooktail Castle. So we're gonna go check out that secret. And it's kind of annoying because this, this is like the, how many times, the second, the third time we're going back to Hooktail Castle just to go explore something. It's like they'd be hiding all the secrets in Hooktail Castle. Yeah, we're going to backtrack all the way back to that castle and try to find that secret. Because it's supposedly something really important. Like this is something you cannot skip. Like you can skip, but... It's highly, highly recommended that you must. This is a must thing you gotta do. So yes, backtracking. Oh, I feel so weird coming back, being back at chapter one. After all the journeys that we have been through. Been through chapter one, two, three, four, and five. So far, what is your guys' favorite chapter so far in this game? Personally, I love chapter 3. Chapter 3 is just my favorite ever. Chapter 4 has probably my favorite story ever. But 3 is just overall my favorite. The Hooktail Castle. And this should be all the way... It's back where we got that black chest. Where we got the new ability to... Start turning into, um, not a paper plane, but we start turning slim. So it should be all the way on the right side of this. Yeah, just ignore all these guys. But we don't need to fight any of them. Mm. Uh. Why do they gotta put everything in Hooktail Castle? Always gotta keep coming back here. Oh, we can't even destroy- okay, we can't destroy those blocks yet. It's weird how they left those stone blocks there. Like, you don't even get the- the next hammer level up until later on. Okay. Wait. I don't need the switch, I can just go through here. Yeah, it should be- uh, should be somewhere here. Oh, this room. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. There's a crack in the wall. Let's blow it up. And what is in here? It's in here. Oh, a chest. We got an up arrow. It's unclear what this means. You should ask somebody super. We should take this back to Merlin. Okay, I wanted to blow that wall to see if there's anything secret. I'm just gonna make sure because you know, there's sometimes there's always secrets around here. Okay, I guess it's nothing here. Okay, well, let's go all the way back now. Guess go back to Rogueport. Give this up arrow to Merlin. Merlin the wizard. It's like every character with the name Merlin. Like, I feel like every character with who has the name of Merlin is just a... Aww. It's just a wizard. Like, is it just me? But every wizard's name is just Merlin. You got this, you got Shrek. You got... I'm sure there's other things out there. <sighs> I'm gonna run away from this battle because I do not care at all. I don't care. I don't want to fight any of y'all. No point. I wish I had the ability to teleport. And I have to go all the way back. Oh, God. Dry boners everywhere. Oh, 
Oh yeah, another thing. I got a bunch of I got a bunch of cooking uh, recipes, and I was thinking of making a bunch of combination of items with these recipes. I can show you guys. Because there is a lot, there is a lot of different recipes you can make from Zest Tea. Might as well combine them together. <laughs> Back in Pedal Meadows. Uh huh. And let's let's just go back this way. I mean, the pipe it just leads it just leads all the way to Rogueport. Otherwise, if we go the other way, we have to take all the sewer, the damn sewers. Hey, we're back in Pedo Meadows, or Pedal Pedalberg was what I meant to say. Oh, where's the pipe? I think the pipe is... Yeah, pipe is over here. And then we go to this pipe here. And then we are back. Yeah, like, look at this. We've seen this chest so many times up there. Like, it's just been up there the whole time. But we still cannot get to that big chest. Okay, yo, Merlin, I got this up arrow. Hmm, what is that in your hand? It's an up arrow. What can you do with it? What's this? An up arrow? An up arrow? Up? You got no what? Of course! What? Since when can Merlin fly? This man just flew through the ceiling. Oh. This is an Ultra Stone, so that is what the star meant. I picked this up at the flea market years ago, and I forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. That is useful as hell. This is what we needed. We are cooking now. Oh yeah, we are cooking. Can the power up a partner right this minute? Yes. Yes, let's power up a partner right this minute. And Bobby hasn't even been ranked up once yet, so let's give him time to shine. You'll be able to use hold fast to damage direct attackers. Yeah, let's power up Bobbery. Shaw Zibby! And the Shah Zuby. You can just skip this cutscene. If yeah, care to power up Nor? Okay, so we have leveled up every partner once. But who do we want to partner up the most? If we do Vivian, she'll be able to use in few way to confuse enemies. Jiggly will be able to do a stampede on ground enemies. Dodgy Fog, make Mario dodgy. Coop, Shell Slam. Rally Wink. Increases Mario's turns. Oh. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I don't. Let's let's do. Yeah, let's do Bobbery. <laughs> Might as well just level him up twice. Besides, Bobbery does huge damage. So imagine how much damage he will do once he's fully maxed out. But the question is, who's going to be the next level up? Now, I'm thinking between Vivian or Jiggly. Because Jiggly can attack all enemies on the ground. But Vivian is just really good in general. So it's like... <sighs> Man. I'm thinking... Stampede attack all enemies on the ground. Oh, this is hard. It's between Jiggly or Vivian. I don't know. Vivian, let's do Vivian. Vivian, it is your lucky day that I'm choosing you. Okay, Shazibi! 
Shaw Zuby in your pants. Oh yeah, Vivian, you better feel lucky today. And I cannot level up anymore, partner, sadly. So let's go back. Uh, yeah, you're right. I got a bunch of cookie ingredients. Let's use those cooking greens to make some uh, stuff. What Zesty is cooking. We're about to make it cook. Oh, you again, huh? You looking well or whatever. Goose? Yes. Two items. Thank you. And just to remember, I actually got a list. Because I'm not going to remember all the combinations of items you can do. But the first thing we're going to do is we are going to do a cake mix and a fire flower. Gonna combine these two together. There you go. And then what does she make? She makes a fire pop. Replenishes 20 FP. 20 FP, guys. Let's go. And another thing, if we combine a keel mango with honey syrup, we will make, what does that give us? Hmm, a fruit par, a fruit parfait, a desert made by zest tea, princess 10 FP and 2 FP. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's alright. It's not, nothing really, like, you know, crazy like the last item. But, you know, it's good. Okay, next up, honey syrup and an ice storm. Combine these two together. And what are we going to get? We are going to get... An icicle pop, 15 FP, but sometimes freezes you. Uh huh. Uh. Another thing we can do: <laughs> Keel mango and a cake mix. Put these two together. This is like a. This is like a cooking episode right here. If we combine these two together, what do we get? We get a Mango Delight. Yes. Next up. Uh, sh 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 uh, shizzle Dizzle. What do we do? Um, I may have forgotten one item. But another thing we could do. Hold on. I'm going to go back. Because earlier I did I did store an I I did store an item earlier. I want to pick up that item that I left. Ooh, withdraw. I think I withdraw a shroom fry somewhere here. No, I did not. Okay, well I'm gonna have to cook up a shroom fry from a mushroom. Yes. Okay. So there was a thing where if you combine a shroom fry with a uh, with a shooting star, you get a very 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 expensive item. So we're gonna cook the sh shroom fry first. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just realized I already had a mushroom in my inventory. Well, shit. That's that's what I get for not paying attention. Yes, mushroom fry. But then, now we are going to do uh, a mushroom fry and the shooting star. You got a meteor meal. It replenishes 7 HP, but gradually recovers even more. So it's not a great item, but it's a very, 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 and I mean very, guys, expensive item. 
And the last thing we want to do is we're going to combine. Yeah, I think the last items we want to combine is the honey syrup and the turtley leaf. And I also want to go back to pick up another super shroom. I should have picked up the super shroom. What do you give us in return? You got a fresh juice. Only 5 FP. What the freak? That's like nothing. Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry for the backtracking between stores. And the... I just want... I want to make one more. One more uh, thing. Give me that super shroom. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Go back. Hello, Zesty. Mushroom and a super shroom. Hi. I flicked my closey muscles. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Thank you. Ooh, a mushroom roast. 15 HP and 5 FP. And that is all the items that we're going to get. So with that, we put, just made a bunch of stuff. Sweet, look at that. But now if I go... Because of course, I'm not going to be using these items. But what you can do is you can just sell them. Let's see how much is each is worth. Life Shroom, whack -a bump Mushroom Rose. Medium Meal is only 40. Okay, well I thought it was going to be more than that. 10, 10, 20, 3... So most of them are not really that. It, makes, it doesn't give you much coins. The ones that give you the most is like whack a bomb and. But meteor mill is kind of a. It's it's a right like it's a right item. What we can do is we can I guess sell some of the items that. Fresh juice is only three coins, so. Yeah. That's twenty FP. We can sell. Let's sell the icicle. Mm. <laughs> it's just these things barely give you any... Yeah, it doesn't really give you much. Okay, well, we'll keep it. We'll keep these items for now. Okay. Hello, sir. Hey, what do you got? What do you got this time? Stopwatch, Mega Rush, Bushi, Repel, Kelp, Mega Rush. Do I have the Mega Rush? Wait, shit, I didn't mean to back out. We do not have the Mega Rush badge yet. Which increase attack by 5 when Mario has 1 HP. So let's pick that. Yeah, let's pick that up. Thank you. And for to start the next chapter, it's going to be somewhere on the left side. We're going to have to meet up with the boss. Francesca's father. But if you guys remember a while back, there was this thing back here in the building... And we, we could have done this like a while ago, and we completely just forgot. If we do it... Voila! Shine it! Oh yeah! We got the Shine Sprite. Which leaves us to... Is it two Shine Sprites? If we can get one more Shine Sprite, we can actually level up our part another partner. Which would be really good. Uh, there was a... Yeah! Look at that! There's a crack right here. Let's blow this up. Wow. And whoa! Another shine sprite! Perfect! That means we can just level up another partner. Okay, so we're gonna actually go back. Before we start this chapter, we can actually just level up another partner. I should have got these shine sprite first before going back to Merlin. It's whatever. And I think all the shine sprites are clear that we've gone up until now. Yeah, let's... Mario. Jiggly, it is your time. This is now my time. Shazimi. Sha poopy. Yes, Jiggly's so happy. 
Uh, uh, thank you, Merlin. Thank you for helping out.